He says, what is the ruling on appointing women in leadership positions or high public office positions? The issue is an issue that people usually ask about. And whenever there is a dispute among different people, the logic <clears throat> necessitates that we refer back to the Quran and the Sunnah. Why? Because this is what Allah Azza wa Jal commanded us in the Quran when he said, and if you dispute over an issue, then refer it back to Allah and to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. And this is by all scholars referring to Allah, the Quran, <clears throat> the Prophet, ﷺ, the Sunnah. So whenever there is a dispute between you and I, we shouldn't argue and fight about it. Refer it to the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations. This is the decisive controlling element in any argument between Muslims. <clears throat> not the logic, not what is happening, not history, rather the Quran and the Sunnah. So what's the ruling on women taking high positions, a ruler, a leader, etc.? Allah says in the Quran, الرِّجَالُ قَوَّمُونَ عَلَى النِّسَاءِ بِمَا فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضِ Men are guardians and protectors of women. Why? For two reasons. One, because Allah favored men over women. That's it. Muslims don't argue. This is what Allah says in the Quran. Two, because what they spend from their wealth. And this is an indication that it's the man's duty to spend over his women folk, his mom, his wife, his daughters. <clears throat> now, from the Sunnah, the Prophet said, والسلام, any nation would not prosperous, would not succeed if they were to hire and appoint a woman as their leader. And this was related to Persia. When their king had died and they appointed his daughter. And <clears throat> through logic, women are ordered to wear the hijab and to be segregated from men and to be appointed upon men who are non-mahram to her defies the purpose of hijab. She would have to communicate. She would have to be in seclusion. She would have to look at them and they look at her. This is not Islam. Maybe it's a different religion, but don't associate this with Islam, <clears throat> beside the point that she has her cycle every month that may impair or jeopardize or hamper her decision making among other things. So it is not permissible for a woman to assume a public position uh, or to lead when there is mixing with non mahram men. But if she is the owner of a company, she's a CEO, and she can delegate things, and she doesn't have to mix with uh, other men or be alone with them, in this case, inshallah, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong in that.